This video is to demonstrate the Mr. Long Cat Pat Progress Tracker and it's to help students focus and get exactly each and every task done for the Cat Pat. So here we have the Mr. Long Cat Pat Progress Tracker and you can download it from tinyurl.com slash Mr. Long Cat Pat Tracker. And when you download it, it'll probably take you to a Google Drive where you have to open it up in Google Sheets, but you can download it, but make sure that you download it as an Excel spreadsheet, which is an XLSX file. So make sure you download it like that. And then when you get it, you'll notice that there is a different sheet for each phase. So there's phase two and there's phase three. So you can basically track your progress for each phase and the way it works is you're filling your details and your teacher will tell you we're working on the pad today and we will fill that date in over there so let's say we're working on the 10th and then they will tell you what you must complete for that day or what you must work on and then this is a way of keeping track of all the tasks that need to be done so you can say well I worked I completed the folder structure when so when you click on it you can say either that you worked on it or that you completed it so yes I completed the folder structure there we go it's completed and we completed the report we created created the report but we didn't finish the headings so we worked on it but we didn't finish it so I'll just say worked on and then what's happening is it's keeping track of how much of the patch you have done and then in the next time that you come to class let's say on the next day let's say it's the 11th of February so you put in the next date that you are working and then over here you're going to continue with the headings and we're actually going to complete this today and as you complete different tasks you can keep track of it and it makes what's very similar to what's called a NAT chart where you can keep track of the progress of all your projects and then as you move along you should be able to finish all the tasks and see what you still need to complete for the pet. Your teacher may give you some dates in advance of when they want different parts to be completed or they'll give it to you as they go along and your teacher will give you the handing date so make sure that you change that to whatever date your teacher wants you to hand it in by. And another thing which I encourage you to do is at the end of each day, so once you've done, okay, I've done those things for the day, is to move down to the bottom here and rate yourself on a scale of 0 to 5 of how much you worked in the lesson. 0 being you didn't work at all and 5 being you worked all the time. So let's say oh, I didn't work solidly, but I worked well enough, so I'll put it in a 4. So we put in a 4 and you can keep track of how well you are working and watch this number regularly. This is your work rate. If this number starts to dip, then you know that you're starting to lose a bit of, of focus. So you want to maybe up your, your effort in class and making sure that you focus. Your ideal, you want to be hitting fours and fives over here to make sure that you are completing the pat in time. So that's a way to keep track of how well you are doing in class with your concentration. And then there's obviously details at the bottom where you can download the cat pat guide and so on. So that's how I would recommend that you do the cat pat progress tracker. If I made a mistake and go, oh, I haven't done that yet, you can actually just press delete on that cell and then it will clear it. And so you can keep track of how your progress is going. And as I said, that it goes for all of the phases that you go through. So you can keep track of everything. If you would prefer a print copy of the Cat Pat Progress Tracker, instead of using it through Excel, then we have a printable version that you can use. The only obviously limit is that it doesn't have the calculations running, but it's exactly the same. You'll see each page is a different phase. What is different here as well is if you zoom in a little bit on the progress that we do at the bottom, instead of it being a number, you can actually do a little graph. So you can say, I'm a four today, and the next day you say, I'm a five. And I would recommend that you actually draw a line going across so you can see like a chart almost forming of your progress. You can still fill in the dates. I would suggest, which I put over here, that you put an X when you worked on it and then a tick when you are completed. So let's say you did, you tick that, you tick that, you X that, you say that you're working on that. Or if you've got a highlighter, you can actually physically highlight that in different colors. So this is the printable version, which you can also download at tinyurl.com slash Mr. Long Cat Pat Tracker Print to get the printable version. So there are the two resources. I hope you can use them to help you keep focused and get all the aspects of the pet completed. Remember, if you want help with your cat pet, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we post lots of videos with tips and hints about the cat pet as well as other stuff related to cat. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.